12 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers head to the Atlanta Falcons as 11-point favorites on the road. Total of 50 and a half here. And Atlanta, even with their win against the Jaguars last week, I cool. I cannot find a way. How they look? Cool. Yeah, I can't find a way for them to to win this game. Tampa Bay is number one in total DVOA. Atlanta is number thirty two. This Atlanta defense is bad. This Atlanta offense is bad, and Tampa Bay is great at both. Uh, I I think Tampa Bay should be favored by like two touchdowns here. Now I know that people always talk about ah, you see a double digit favorite. In the NFL, you probably need to bet against it, but I I just don't see it. I'm I'm going to roll Bucks here minus eleven. I, I think they got that that Colts game off the back. I think they're going to be fine this week. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely rolling with the Bucks on this one. So uh, I'm going to do the same thing, but tell you why it scares me. It's not the oh double digits in the NFL. It's the I really do believe that the Bucks might be in just win move on mode for the rest of the season until the playoffs get here. The problem is is I don't foresee a way this Falcons team is going to stand up and play defense and stop them. They could Tom Brady in this offense can look like crap for three and a half quarters and in two or three drives of half a quarter score three touchdowns. And just boom, boom, boom. And then it's over. It just all gets quick sand on you. And I don't know what to do with that. The uh, the Falcons, by the way, uh, one and four at home this year, four and two on the road. Somehow this team is five and six, and yet they're the least efficient team in all of the NFL. Like it makes zero sense to me. Well, uh, all right, so I don't, and I don't know the number exactly. Road teams have been have been covering like maniacs. This oh yeah, oh Not yeah, just covering. Covering and winning. If you look at the lines now, Vegas has given nobody anything for home field anymore. Oh, it used true. to be a blanket three points. I don't think you're getting a single point anymore for home field. No, I, I agree with you 100%. The, uh, the Falcons wins this year, by the way. They've got five of them. They are over the Giants, the Jets, the Dolphins, the Saints, and the Jags. That's their wins. <laughs> and when they play against good football teams... They lost forty three to three to the Cowboys. They lost twenty five to nothing to the Patriots. They uh, they got beat thirty four to thirty by Washington. They lost to the Bucks earlier in the season already forty eight to twenty five, and they lost in that first week to the Eagles thirty two to six. I just I, I don't I don't see how the Falcons do it, uh, but we'll see. We will see. All right, so we are both rolling Bucks minus eleven on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.